What up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's Corbin. Haven't made a video in a couple weeks. Oh, man. Today, I woke up so tired. And I was just, like, super tired. And, like, it wasn't like... It was kind of, like, sick, but it was just... I'm like, oh, great. Here we go. Am I having a reaction to my medication to Abilify? Uh, I see my doctor on Friday to ask him if I can take a Abilify. But if it's not working, it's not working anyway. So I got a little bit of energy, but I still feel kind of feel depressed depressed today. Um, I, made, I made another video. Went out, got some sun. It's, uh, winter is finally over. Out here in Sacramento, California, yeah, yeah, and I think I might need to take a little bit uh, instead of uh, two milligrams of Abilify. I might need to take five, but not on Sundays, man. Because I took five on Sunday, and I was like, I couldn't come home and take a nap. But I'm always super tired on Sundays, and I was like so tired, but I couldn't go to sleep. I think it was because of the Abilify giving me insomnia. So, um, I should have just taken some clonopin, duh. But I've been going down, I've been taking less of my, um, Cyprexa since I'm taking the Abilify. And, and I also decided to try to go down on my clonopin too. But you never do that. You never go down, if you can, if you can help it, you never change your dosages at the same time you do one at a time and so I was doing both at the same time and then I got really depressed yesterday and so I think it was because I wasn't I think it was because I was having withdrawals from the clonopin because I was instead of taking a uh, half a milligram a day I was taking it every other day and so I think that was too much too fast you gotta go really slow on clonopan clonazepam clonazepam Appreciate everybody's support, comments on my videos. A lot of supportive people out there. Pretty cool. Um, so had some really have been having some really bad days, um, but I've had some good days. I had some really good days on Abilify. This stuff can really help you out. Depending on who you are, um, but oh yeah, dude, I am gaining weight like nothing. I mean, I'm like ten pounds in like a in like a month or something, and uh, so I'm up to like I'm almost up to two thirty, and that's scaring me because of my blood sugar levels and everything. I don't want to get diabetic. Uh, I'm not, it's not like I'm eating crap food either, you know, I'm just, I'll eat like once a day or, you know, one big meal a day. And, uh, I'll have fruit smoothie for breakfast. Um, if you want to know how to get your fruit every day or almost every day, go and buy about 15 to 20 bananas, peel them, break them in half, put them in freezer bags. Or put them in empty um, ice cream bins, you know, the plastic ones, in a big freezer bag. When you need to use them for a smoothie, to take, take a couple out and then thaw them in the freezer. Or <laughs> thaw them in the microwave. Thaw, thaw them in the freezer. <laughs> and then you can buy frozen strawberries. And then, so, okay, so you got bananas and then you got uh frozen orange juice or apple juice concentrate and get the real you can get it real cheap at um winco or walmart so that those are two two cheap ones and this the berries will be kind of expensive but okay and then you get uh so what is it you get oh and then you can get canned pineapple super cheap it'll be on sale at your stores it'll it's super cheap at winco or you can get bulk at Costco so the pineapple and the orange juice and the bananas are super cheap 
and just with just with those you just you can make a really good smoothie and you can freeze whatever you don't use or you can just put it in the fridge for the next day it'll be it'll be good the next day but do that do that for your brain it's good for your brain and you can buy bulk bulk uh, what's that stuff called what? flax you can buy a bulk flax at Costco so have a good day.